thanks for tuning in Rayleigh's small engines old t-bone here remember I've told you about the value of a careful visual inspection let me show you something so the complaint from the customer is it won't pull up hills good this is a hydrostatic model okay so I'm thinking okay maybe a drive belt problem so we come in we remove the deck and I get up underneath and go to looking and what I find is now I've already removed the electric PTO clutch one bolt and a wire but this belt is really really loose and I was gonna put a new belt on it but I've checked these two idler pulleys they look fine so I said well to take loosen the belt I need to set the parking brake so stand by and I'm gonna show you that so I go pull a new belt off the shelf and in order to get that belt off you have to set the parking brake you push down the pedal and raise this lever to hold it it won't set I'm like what is going on I get to looking well right there is an old ball off old sweet gum tree hmm let's look a little further now my beautiful assistant is gonna mash this pedal for us down and as she does that I want you to look right down here where this magnet is all right let back off the pedal what is happening whoops let me try the other end that's not magnetized right in here behind this plate let back off all right mash it again now right in here is some more of those sweet gum balls and it is not letting the pedal release all the way to tighten the belt so we're going to clean that out and let's see if that'll fix it. I'm kind of betting it will. Now I know some of this grass blew up in there, but I'm kind of thinking Fluffy might have had a part in this. So we push down on the pedal and clean this out down here and got all the extra, um, what you call them, hon? Sweet gum balls. Sweet gum balls. We got those out. Now it goes back. Now, let's raise this machine back up, see if that belt's any tighter. <laughs> Come on up with it. Here it comes, it's gonna run over me. That still feels kinda loose. I think we're gonna put a belt on it onward all right so to remove this deck is very very simple up underneath you have one clip here you have another clip here the same thing on the other side and then one off of the front which i've already pulled that rod out stand by all right i just stuck it back in there for you to see but this you can just kind of well, hold the camera where people can see Rayleigh and it comes out okay uh, the PTO clutch is one bolt in the center and one wire connector be sure to don't break that lock off take your little screwdriver barely pull it up and just gently wiggle it to unplug it from the PTO clutch and there is the little lock or tab on the top that it locks into there's only one bolt you also, when you're putting this back together, and I'll show you, you need to make sure that this is lined up with this tab, and that keeps it from turning. If that clutch turns and is not in here, you're gonna rip the wiring harness out to either break your wiring harness or ruin a couple hundred dollar clutch. Now, the next step for us to do to get this off, we've already got the clutch out. This pulley will move. But what we need to do is relieve some pressure off of this belt. The way you do that is set your parking brake. Push the pedal down while lifting up on the orange uh, park brake lever. 
and hold it up and release the pedal. Most of you know how to set a park brake. Let me get that done. I'll be right back. Okay, now you'll see that I've got that brake set. It's really loose now, okay? Just flopping around. So, what we have to do, get the camera what I'm pointing at. We're going to loosen this nut. You don't have to take it all the way off. We're going to loosen this nut. You want to check these plastic pulleys, though, all the way around. They have a tendency to get a flat spot in them, especially this one. And this is a flat pulley on the front. This one is a V pulley. Okay? And take note of how the belt is routed before you take it off. Okay? The flat pulleys run on the back side of the belt. The V's run on the V side of the belt. Pretty simple. The other thing we've got to do is there is a rod right back there to the back of that pulley that we have to remove. I can't remember what size it is, but I'll tell you in a few when I go to take it out. Um, you have to take it out in order to get this belt off of this pulley. Now, I don't know what Brainiacs they got at Dagon John Deere, but this particular model, you have got to pull the steering shaft out. So, it, because the belt goes around the stupid thing, uh, I, I don't know what they were thinking that day at the round table, but it's just remove this nut, slide this gear off, and then pull the column out. That's it. It's simple. Step one, grab this. Boy, that was fast, wasn't it? Just jerk it and it come right off of there. And I'll show you how to put this back on. You gotta make sure that your uh, keyway and all is lined up. All right, next thing. You're gonna need a 15 millimeter socket and a ratchet. And we're gonna loosen these pulleys. All right, squeaky chair, sorry. You generally don't want to take these all the way off, I don't think, but it doesn't hurt to take them and take a look at them anyway. Just to be double sure that the bearings feel good and because you're already under here, you know? If they feel bad, let's go and take them off. If they feel bad, replace them. Just a couple dollars for, you know, that peace of mind. Let's see what that feels like. That one actually feels pretty smooth. I don't find a problem there. All right. Let's check this one. Hope y'all remember how that belt goes. Somebody will tell me. That one feels pretty good too. Yeah. All right, stand by, let me reposition you. Let's see if I can work around the camera. And I can't see what I'm doing, but take your wrench and you can get this off down here. You know, stand by, cause this is gonna take a minute, y'all. Okay, and I'm trying to work around the camera. Let me get this out and I'll be right back with you. All right, I hope the fan ain't making too much noise. I've got that out. You can also do it with Allen head. Coming in from over the right rear tire, you can reach in there and do it that way. I'm doing it this way because it's easier for me to get to and show you guys so you'll know what you're looking at when you go to do this. The next thing you're gonna do is just take that belt, boom. It's out of there like Vladimir. All right, let's do this steering. 19 millimeter socket. You can do this with a ratchet. You will be laying on the ground if you don't have a lift. Yes, it will take longer and be more difficult. See, slid right off. Um, take note of how it comes off in case there's something different. You'll see this wear that one side's got the splines, this side don't sit, it ain't gonna go on but one way. All right, and then you take your finger, look at there, and you'll pull the steering on up a little higher. 
and voila, your belt falls out. All right, this is the correct belt for this machine. This does not mean that it is the correct belt for your machine. All right, step one, I'm gonna grab this belt and we're going right down through here. Okay, stick it on the crankshaft. That's step one. All right, next, let's get it around the transmission pulley. Grab it like this. Go right around that fan and everything. Just be careful with the little plastic fins. You don't want to break those, okay? So, let's set you up for the next step. All right. You can start with either pulley. It really doesn't matter. V pulley. Slide it up on there. Start your neck. Okay. Next one. The flat pulley. Slip it up on it. Start your nut. And hold your ears, folks. Okay. That's step what? 1487? Hell, I don't know. Alright, let's move it on. Alright, I hope this fan isn't bothering you guys too much. We're going to hook this on here. Got to make sure that we line this up. Keep it inside of these tabs. Push it on. Okay? Now, continue it on. Let's release the brake. Let's reinstall this bolt back in the transmission. All right, we've got that bolt reinstalled. Let's go do the steering next. Just grab your front wheels and turn them straight. Then let's grab the steering wheel. Let's turn it straight. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to show you our customer's name. Hold on privacy and all that you know we're gonna slide this back down in there all right steering will look straight tires look straight let's go put the gear on all right excuse my squeaky chair y'all see we can work this gear up here i won't go but one way try to find it without moving the steering wheel or the thing and see if we can get this in there, I'm gonna reach back here and grab it. There she is. Put her nut on. Tighten her down. Beautiful. Doggone, it looks like he's got a flat tire. Well, at least it's only flat on the bottom, not on the top. All right, let's get this clutch installed. Take note of where your keyway is there and there. A lot of little things have got to happen at once. Just work it until you get it. Making sure that that tab goes inside here. Like I said, you will rip your wires out. There she is. Stay. You have to talk to it sometimes. Next, let's hook our wire up. Just like that. I think we're ready to go for a test drive. About the steepest incline I've got. More of those dang little balls.
No, it ain't in the way. <laughs> Folks, it's hot out here. Thunderstorm in the afternoon out there, so we'll run and test cut this in a little bit. I'm sure it's going to do great. We appreciate you guys watching. Give us a thumbs up if this helps you guys out. I hope it helps at least one person fix their lawnmower. That'll be worthwhile. We appreciate you. And click that subscribe button for us. Click the bell and set notifications to all. That way you can see all of our videos. We appreciate you guys watching. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day.